This video explains an example of an effective critical analysis essay. Although the student did not employ enough APA formatting to score highly in that category, she scored very highly in terms of structure and content. To begin with, she starts with a very powerful hook and then goes directly into her conversation of the article. The strongest point of her introduction is her thesis statement which explains not only why the article is persuasive and that in her opinion it's successful, but also tells us why she feels that way. She then goes into her summary of the article, describing the many details that lay the context for the situation. Then she goes directly into why the article was persuasive, explaining the testimonies that the author uses to appeal to the reader's emotional side. She then goes in to explain how his tone is neutral and informative, how she didn't detect an awful lot of bias. Then she compares the article to other articles today and starts to explore it for fallacies. She finds that Bransford does an excellent job of keeping information accurate and to the point. These sorts of statements of evaluation is what will help your essay score high in terms of content and evidence. Finally, in her conclusion, she recaps and goes back to her introduction where she says that it brings awareness to homeless people and that issue. She restates her thesis statement that the article is persuasive because of the real-life elements, neutral and informative tone, and easily understood language. All of this summarizes what she said in her essay. Finally, she says that the author is very persuasive and brings the issue of homelessness to a greater light. Overall, this essay could have been improved in terms of APA formatting, but it scored very highly because of its many structural qualities. If you have any more questions about how you should structure your essay, please see the assignment details or ask your instructor.